We now move ahead and look at some of the other parts which are available here. Uh, the fill and clear numbers are basically going to clear and you know uh, fill data points. Uh, what we are going to look at more importantly is sort and filter here. Right now, before we go to sort and filter, we will also learn a few more tricks which are available in terms of hiding and unhiding cells. So let's say I want to hide this this row, this column C. I can select this. I can do a right click and I can click on the hide tab here. When I press hide, it hides the cell. You will note that there is a small uh, bar that comes here that shows that a cell has been hidden, uh, a column has been hidden, right? How do I unhide it? I can either go and double click on that bar exactly or if it is hidden, I can select columns B and D, right click and say unhide. When I say unhide, anything in between would come out. So in terms of representation, hiding and unhiding helps you kind of, you know, not show something that you don't want to kind of implement or immediately show on the screen. Similarly, let's try this with the rows. Let's select these four or five rows and click right click, say hide. Now when you hide, you will note once again that there is this slightly wider bar that gets created on the left hand side. If I double click this essentially once this shows this. So if, if you see this, it shows a small arrow now and now it shows two separate parallel lines, horizontal lines and when you double click it, it can do this or else simply select 5 and 10 and right click and click on unhide. It will automatically unhide those cells for you. So that's how hiding and unhiding cells would do. Similarly, you could just do an insert column here. It will insert on the left. You can do an insert row here. It will insert row here. You can select the entire row and delete the row and it will automatically delete the row again. So by selecting a column or a row, you can insert or delete that as you go along by right clicking. So that's this portion once again in terms of data representation, whether you want to not show something or show something that can be hidden from that particular table that you are using. Fair enough. Now let's try and move ahead and understand what if we want to sort the data somehow. Right now I want to sort the data in a fashion that either it is sorted on the basis of these amounts increasing amounts right ascending order of amounts or I can sort on the basis of region which is A to Z or I can sort on the basis of dates which is older to newer right I can sort on the basis of any of these and that's what we're going to try out now using this data in terms of representation of data so let's do this Let's uh, select the entire table first. Remember, be careful. You have to select the entire table if you only sort one column. So if I do a sorting only on this column, then Gujarat will not stay with Gujarat's number. Some other number might come here. So I want that to not happen. So I select this entire table. Correct. So I take a shift and keep moving rightwards and then keep shift and keep moving downwards. Press the shift and the arrow key to select this entire thing or you can simply click here on the lowermost cell take your mouse click keep it clicked and select the entire set of table here so you've selected the table now go to sort and filter you can sort smallest to largest when I click this it will automatically look at the number and sort it on account of that number you see everything has changed Karnataka Delhi Kerala comes in and then it gives you the sorting in, in the basis of numbers that we have. I can also sort largest to smallest in case you will see Assam coming on the top with the largest number along with Punjab with the largest number, right? Let's do this again. Let's do a control Z control Z. So we have our data. See the smallest number is Karnataka 26 July 1740. When we select this data shift and select the entire data, press the shift key and select then you can sort on the basis of this data and remember because we started from this side and we selected this entire data 
when we select this it is going to sort smallest to largest so when we do smallest to largest it gives smallest to largest now how does Excel know what does it have to format based on in a table right what you can do is if you actually select it from the left hand side left top corner and move downwards and select it here it will sort based on the dates